Hello everyone, welcome to Wheels on the Bike. I'm Agnieszka and my channel is about bicycle touring and bike commuting. I'm currently on a multi-day tour on my Brompton bike and I thought I would share with you how I prepped the bike for this tour. Now, where am I? I am riding the Erie Canal Trail. The Erie Canal Trail is relatively flat. Uh, it undulates here and there, but it is not a very mountainous route. So I thought that it would be a perfect opportunity for me to take the Brompton, give it a whirl and see how it performs. And it's been performing amazingly. So what did I do to prep the bike for this tour? First things first, this is the Brompton Sea Line Explore, which means that it is a six speed bike. There are three gears in the hub, internal hub, and two gears at the back there. One of the first things I did is I changed the front chain ring from the original 50 to a 39 tooth chain ring. This has been making a great impact on my climbs, any of the climbs that I have. It makes them a lot easier. The second thing I did is I changed my saddle. This is my Brooks B17 saddle. This is a saddle I prefer on my to take on my tours. I have one on my touring bike and it's uh, it's just super comfortable for me. The next thing I did is I changed the grips. So these are Ergon GP2 grips and they allow me for multiple hand positions. So I typically ride like this or like this or like this. So again, this, this just improves comfort. The next thing I did is I added this handlebar bridge. I bought it on Etsy and I will leave a link to the item in the description below. But again, this allows me a little bit more space on the handlebars. This is the high handlebar and there just wasn't enough space uh, for me to mount everything that I needed to, specifically my Wahoo bike computer and of course my cameras. I do have drink pouch or a water bottle holder. Is this the best one? I don't know, but it, it works well when the bike is folded. It's good for one bottle and not much else. You see that I have a, a key um, that is on the one of the D-rings here, but not much else will fit when the water bottle is inside. In terms of bags and how I packed the bike, I do have the waterproof Brompton bag. Uh, it has a capacity of I uh, forget what, but I will leave that on the screen. And then on the back, I did add a rear rack. That was another addition to the bike that I installed myself. I'm incredibly proud of that because it took quite some time. Um, in terms of bags, I just have dry bags at the back. This one is a Sea Line 30 liter bag, and this is just a generic a dry bag as well. I do have a Brompton cover. One thing I forgot to mention is that the Brompton, I purchased it second hand and this cover came included with the bicycle and that will come in handy for when I have to travel on the train with the bike. Another thing I added was this frame protector. Now I could have purchased leather frame protector, but instead I used handlebar tape or handlebar wrap to wrap uh, this part of the frame and then the stem here as well. And that's been working out very well to uh, to minimize any wear and tear on the frame what else can i tell you about the bike i am using a, a click stand this is a click stand that i originally used on my touring bicycle that broke one of these pieces broke due to user error and now it fits perfectly on my bicycle one last thing that I forgot to mention is I did add this mirror cycle, I believe. Let's double check. Yeah, mirror cycle mirror. And I think that is all I want to share with you. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to share whatever I can with you. The setup has been working very well for me. At this point, I wouldn't change anything. Maybe the rear bag setup, it's not ideal when I have to take it off and then put it back on again. So question for you, what kind of setup do you have on your Brompton uh, when you go for touring? What has worked? What hasn't worked? If you can share any insights with the community, I would appreciate it. As usual, thanks for watching. Comment, like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one. Bye.